guys. <laughs> What's up? So, we are on the road again. We are on the road again, and we are headed to the Travis. See the water boy. To see the water boy, that's right. That's it. I should have said, instead of water boy, I should have said like the announcer threw his hat in the ring. Announcer? The, the promoter. I mean, because I mean, he's irrelevant as an arm wrestler, right? Where is this coming from? It's coming from all the dumbass shit that's out there right now about how I tried to steal his sponsors and all that other crap. Why is he saying those things? It's Travis. <laughs> Travis being Travis. You guys, and some of you are so gullible. Like, extremely gullible. All I know is that one dude who did the review on it was like, well, I'd say it's 100% true what Travis is saying. Has anything Travis Bajan ever said been 100% true? Because there was nothing factual at all. Nothing. In that. No. Not a thing. Not one thing. Wow. Okay. So, guys, uh, let's just say it will all be revealed later. <laughs> if we make it there in time. If we make it there in time. Um, we're running just a bit behind, and usually this is the kind of thing that we would do on a live to fill you guys in, but... T-Mobile sucks. T-Mobile sucks. We need a uh, different carrier sponsor. <laughs> T-Mobile getting the most 5G across the nation. I'm telling you, we just drove. Yes. A, we just drove across the nation, and every phone call I had dropped. got dropped. Thanks. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. Right. Trying to do business and all that stuff. Yeah. And so, bam. Verizon, AT and T, call us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hook us up. Hook us up. So, guys, it's going to be a little bit unusual. You, like I said, usually this is the kind of thing that would be on a live, but instead we're just going to have a little chat with you and upload it unedited. What? We're going to try the Devin Laird strategy. We're going to do the Devin just Laird strategy. Just film with a camera. I'm just not walking out in the woods saying I'm not training. Other than that, it's still the Devin Laird strategy, I think. Yeah, yeah, but Michael's been wanting to talk to you about some stuff. Well, I am bummed out about having to pull Devin Laird versus Levon instead of Levon. And I, honestly, I'm bummed about it. A um, couple reasons why. One, obviously, I wanted to pull Levon to find out who the overall number one in the world was. I genuinely want to know. I, I think it's me. I, I, I really believe I can beat him. So not getting that opportunity because PAL are acting insanely ridiculous, can't even comprehend their logic, it's frustrating. The second reason I'm bummed about pulling Devin Laird is for some reason, people don't think Devin is gonna, like, it's like, oh, well, you're not pulling Levin, so you're pulling Devin. Devin is probably a greater threat to me than LeVon. I agree. In my opinion, Devin has experience arm wrestling me. Devin has, ex like with LeVon, as long as I'm strong enough to stop the match, I believe I'll win the match. I agree that. With Devin, I need to not even let him in the match. Right. Because the same thing applies for Devin. If he can stop the match, if he can stop me from putting putting him away early, it becomes a chess match, and who makes the fewest mistakes wins. Wins. So I'm bummed because people are taking, assuming that Devin's not a real threat. Uh, yeah, I'm the strongest I've ever been, and I will be stronger. But Devin is as great a threat to me as any arm wrestler out there because of his skill set. I mean, he, he has as much heart and desire to win as I do. And he doesn't quit. He's equally as skilled with a larger frame. Mm -hmm. Like, he's got longer levers. He has, he got, I mean. He has better genetics for arm wrestling. No doubt. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's a bummer that people are thinking that Devin is like, me going from like Travis's scenario, you know, you're preparing for LeBron or Michael Jordan to give you John Stockton. I mean, <laughs> apparently you said Devin's the Michael Jordan of arm wrestling. She did not mean that. <laughs> I don't know what she was thinking. She was talking about him being good everywhere. I was talking about I him being I don't know. Skilled. But he apparently now there's memes of Devin space on Michael Jordan Duncan and I'm running behind. I don't know. That was a pretty good one though. But yeah, so that's the second reason I'm bummed. The third and probably the most reason I'm bummed about pulling Devin Laird is I don't get to train with Devin. Like, I wanted this to be our Apollo Rocky moment. We get to train together in preparation for me to 
take on Levon. I mean, that was the plan, in my opinion. Devin was going to come down. We we're going to train, and I don't get to do that now. You know, I've got nine and a half more weeks. Well, shit, that's nine weeks from tomorrow, isn't it? We're like 64 days away. Well, yeah. So I don't get to collab. I don't get to hang out with my buddy. You know, instead, I have to try to destroy my buddy. You know. And the other thing is, we just got back from Machine Gun Vegas, and I'm thinking, how cool to be to go have a shooting range collab with Devin or skydiving or any of he that didn't cool sound shit. Sound like he thought that would be too cool, honey. Well, the I mean, shooting stuff, that was because, his life. but I mean, the skydiving thing sounds cool. Oh no, that sounds extremely cool. But you have to think about it. The machine gun thing probably doesn't bring back the best memories for him. The best I, experiences. I think for we're him. just assuming things at this point. I don't know. I mean, and it wasn't. I mean, it's part of his life, so. I would rather take lessons from Devin on shooting oh, you know, with course. somebody else. Um, I don't know, man. It's just... I am as motivated as I've ever been. I'm as focused as because I've ever been. Because you know that you have to go in and make a statement. Well, yeah. I mean, it, I go from being in a match where I had nothing to lose. If LeVon beats me, half the world thinks he's going to. So it doesn't change. I'm still number one in North America. I'm still this. I'm still that. It's no big deal. You just, you know, if I was to lose, I would I would not be in the argument if they're overall number one in the world. But if I lose to Devin, in my mind, it feels like everything that I'm working towards um, goes out the window. And I don't know if that's necessarily the case, because on any given day, anything can happen. But, you know, I'm under the gun right now. Like, I'm, I feel like all the pressure's on me to perform. Especially because a lot of people are thinking that Devin isn't up, up for the task which we already told you. I mean I called Devin six weeks ago yeah just let me rewind on that you're sitting here giving reasons for why you're bummed that it's Devin when you were the one that requested Devin no of course I did I mean because I knew the opportunity that we have in front of us so is you're to get the bummed most about something though that you set in motion well I'm bummed about something I set in motion because I was left with no other option once LaVon was unable to compete due to PAL fear, the only match that made sense is Devin Laird because it's the most sought after, the most viewed, the most eyes. We have an opportunity with Larry in this promotion to do something really big for arm wrestling. So it either had to be LaVon East versus West, champion versus champion, or the trilogy match of me and Devin. So I was kind of backed into a corner on either let the match not happen, happen, just lose this opportunity, or, you know, expedite the, the, the match with uh, Devin, which I thought was gonna happen later on, you know? I don't know, I'm just kind of bummed. But like I said, I'm still, I'm still as motivated and will be the strongest I've ever been for this match. I, and I do have some cool collabs. I mean, like I said, we got Todd Hutchins coming down next week. Uh, it'll be fun. I've never got to pull Todd right-handed, so that'll be interesting just to get to to kind of game plan with him, feel uh, feel that side pressure he's got. I don't know. Funny thing is the uh, 255 for 10 that I did yesterday, and people were like, "Oh, this leverage, that leverage, blah blah blah." I'm like, "Just move that way." I just want to find somebody. Smart. I just want to find somebody that can move that way. I'm just because I will pin 300 pounds before this match. I'm just shocked at the number of people openly display their ignorance on social media. It is wow. There's so much of it. But I do appreciate all the supportive followers and subscribers and supporters that we have because you know really it really means a lot to go on our, our channel and see all the positive comments when there used to be so many negative comments. That really is a blessing. It makes me feel it, it, it makes me feel some pride that you know there's a lot of people out there that see the hard work and all your hard work for all the editing. Except for obviously on this video, there will be no hard work on Rebecca's part. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So is it fair to say that you fear Devin at least more than you would LeVon? Well, there's greater fear of pulling Devin than there would be LeVon because I have everything to lose. And I was in a no lose situation with LeVon. You know, if I lost, oh well. I mean, what does I, Devin I, have to lose? Nothing really. Yeah, he's. It's kind of like he's in the position that I was in, getting ready for LeVon. 
And it's not to say that, you know, I'm better than Devin or any of that. It's just to say the position that we're in. I am the champ. You know, he's, he's, I'm the one, according to Devin, that's being hunted. But there is a difference. You know, there is a difference. I like being the underdog. You are. Have you not noticed? A lot of people are still thinking Devin's going to pull this one out. Yeah, no, they're not. I saw one of the things were like 70% Devin, honey. Yeah, that was like seven fake accounts and, and three real accounts. Okay, let's admit right now, <laughs> Devin has got the best troll army Yeah, there's, out there there's some pretty good, uh, pretty good names out there. What's what, your favorite? I don't know. What's the Michael Todd's calcified? Elbow? Yeah, <laughs> I love That's that. Funny. Okay, that is funny, but my favorite is probably Travis Waterboy Badger. Oh, well, that's hilarious. Accurate as hell, too. So funny. Oh, oh, and um, Michael Todd from the future. That is I like that one. Because every time he comments, dude, you're awesome. Every time he comments, he's like, I remember this day. <laughs> freaking love it. That's actually pretty funny. I freaking love it. That's pretty funny. So, um, with these nine weeks left, I don't really have any big collaborations with any other YouTubers or anything. Um, like I said, I got Todd Hutchins coming down. Hopefully, Jerry Cataract coming down. Uh, told you Leroy Walker is supposed to come up. Um, I'm very nervous about the Jerry Cataract one. Well, are you afraid I'll injure my hand or something? Yes. Or injure my arm before the Duh. match? Yeah. I think we'll be fine. I mean, without I've never had that injury happen except for with that tiny little WAL strap. And I don't. We definitely wouldn't be pulling with that. So. I don't know. I need to call Jerry and make sure he's still coming down. Well, yeah, so uh, what do you guys want to see leading up to this match? What do you want to see after this match? Like, what collaborations do you want to see us do? Where do you want to see us go? We're getting very close. Yeah. Gigi said that he wanted to have you back out. I was not going to say that, but yes, Gigi did offer, uh, once the gym's complete, to have me come back out and, and do some training with him, which would be cool. Um, we're getting really close to a wrapped RV. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun. That will be awesome. Now we are going, uh, I believe it's gonna be July 3rd. We're doing that seminar up in Albany because mm -hmm. uh, our anniversary is the 4th of July. So we're gonna take a road trip up north. Hopefully it will be in the wrapped RV. You know, if not, um, it could be in 2021 Dodge Laramie, thanks to CamelCars.com. Uh, but we could always just take the vet. Road trip in the vet. Road trip in the vet up to... We definitely won't take all the luggage we've been taking. It's summer, honey. We can drive up north. You guys, we have learned our lesson. Let me tell you what. We basically took as much stuff on this last road trip as we did to Dubai. That's the truth. It was horrible. Because we're thinking we're going to be gone for 10 days. We took a lot of shit. We weren't staying anywhere more than one day. So we were unloading and loading, and a lot of times I was on the second floor of these hotels. I'm like, this is ridiculous. But yeah, so that was, uh, we, we were not prepared for that one. But yeah, so, although it's unfortunate that the biggest match of my arm wrestling career is against my good buddy Devin Larratt instead of my other good buddy LeVon Sagadishvili for the you overall number one in the world. This good buddy stuff because he's good looking buddy. to annihilate you. I mean, I understand that both of us are coming into this thing with an objective of destroying the other one. No doubt. And I fully expect him to be the strongest he's ever been. Yes, he will I be. really do. All of this crap that he's putting out there about... Oh, well, it's he's not even that. Up. It's the messages that he sends me, you know? Mind games, Devin, we're on to yeah, you. Yeah, but I, I, will be, I will be the strongest I've ever been. Barring some stupid injury or something... Everything from this point leaving forward looks like I'll be the strongest. I mean, I think I'm the strongest I've ever been right now. People, they don't realize that the way I pin that pulley actually translates to how I arm wrestle. And when I was prepping 2020 for that WAL title defense, I did the 255 for seven. And I, that seven was a max lift. That 10 yesterday, I don't think, was a max lift. I no, think I could have done two to, some in the tank. two to five more, you know. So it's moving up on that without injuring myself, you know, because the 300 pound pull is going to be hard, but I'm going to do it because it's mental. You know, I don't get to go for the big deadlift, the big squat, the big bench, whatever things that I wanted to feel powerful in. 
um, because, you know, shit, after watching Ryan's peg tear training with Larry, whoo, we got out of there just in time, didn't we? Oh my God. That, have you guys not seen that? If you have, I, I don't even recommend watching. It's horrible. His peck rolls all the way across his, like, to the center of his chest. <laughs> that young man. close to like stopping this guy from working out. I'm again. sitting there going, I may never lift weights again. That was horrible. But yeah, so I won't be going after those uh, type of PRs, but I will be doing a single pulley PR, no doubt. What's so funny, people are like, oh, your pulley's too high, it's not accurate weight. I'm like, it's pulling it directly off the ground. It's, I don't know what the hell else was I supposed to pick the weight up. I don't know. All right, so uh, we're off to see the water boy. I've got pictures here I can autograph for him. What else does he need? Apparently a dose of reality. Travis, where in the hell are you coming up with this crap? All I know is Dude, I, I, I understand. was watching that video going, what is he talking about? I understand about building hype, but you literally pulled stuff right out of your asshole. And that's a scary place to be. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll catch up with you. Um, watch tonight on Travis agent unfiltered all right so i'm going to say this on here uh because one of my subscribers who recently started doing our program he is watching another youtuber and it said across the bottom it told how many people who are subscribed to his channel that actually are the ones viewing it and i think our number is like 70 percent of our views come from people who are not subscribed so we're at like 57,000 subs and 30 percent of our views come from those people 70% come from the other 140, 50,000, whatever. So if you guys have not subscribed, let's get that number up. Get those subs up. Yeah, subscribe, click the bell for Click the bell for notifications. You know I'm a trophy whore. Get me that silver freaking YouTube button. Well, I need 100,000 subs, huh? What will you give them? I don't know. What do you guys want? More great content. Well, obviously, more great content. Talk to you guys later. Take care, guys. Thanks for the support.